Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome to these doomed isles! They're doomed, I tell ye! DOOMED! This game is an interesting mix between a survival city builder and a roguelike deck builder. We'll be playing as one of several different deities and building out an island of our followers, helping them survive, remain faithful to us, of course, and ward off monsters that seek their destruction. These Doomed Isles is developed by Triple Vision Games and published by Fireshine Games, who did offer to sponsor me today to show off what this game has to offer, and of course I'm very happy to accept, so a big thank you to them for that. If as you watch this video you guys like what you see and you want to learn more, there will be that link in the description down below. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into a new game. First thing you have to do is choose your difficulty, which ranges from 0 to 5. I'll go ahead and play on level 2 because I'm still learning the game. And then we're going to choose our god. When you first start playing the game, you only have access to Sir Nunnos, the Celtic god of the wild. But as you continue playing, you will unlock new gods, like Plutus, the Greek god of wealth, or Akan, the Mayan god of wine. Now, with this certain stage of early access, there's only three gods available. It is expected there will be about seven by the time this game does get to full release. For this run, I'll play with Sir Nano, since this is the classic run that most people will experience their first time around, and we're going to see what our starting cards are going to be. We have Meteor Storm, Rockfall, and Demolish. Could have hoped for better, but honestly, it could have been worse. Let's get started. And these are the kinds of enemies I can expect to face off against. We have Vikings, Saxons, Blight Witches, Sluals, and Banshees. And you can see what these things are going to prioritize attacking. Let the godly games begin! It is the dawn of a new world. Your followers wait in anticipation to see where you will take them. Will you lead them to glory, or will you lead them to their doom? Let's go ahead and get started. Now, every god is going to have some special unique power cards. In this case, playing as a god of the wild, I have a lot of druidic spells. I'm going to go for bloody roots. Bleed is really strong against the final boss you'll end up facing off against. I'll talk about that later. But yeah, that's why I want to pick that up. Now that's going to lead me to my prayers. Now these are effectively your victory conditions. Meet all three, and you trigger the spawn of a final boss. Defeat the final boss, and you win the run. So I have to get some wonders, I have to connect some islands, and I have to build up to 20 buildings. We do have a turn limit for all of these, though. Fail to meet that limit, and you're going to gain a curse, which can seriously ruin your run. So there's a bit of a time pressure here, but that's fine. These are all things I should be able to do. All right, there's a lot of different resources you need to worry about on your starting island. We have followers that need housing. Once they have homes, they can become workers. They have a happiness. Keep that happiness nice and high. If it ever goes down to zero, you start losing followers. Lose all your followers, you lose the game. We have food, we have wood, we have stone, we have iron, and we have gold. Very important resource because this gets you new cards. And faith is important because this lets you reshuffle your hand to draw new cards. Now with all of that known, let's see what we want to do here. So my starting island's over here, and I want to connect it up to a few other islands as quickly as we can. Let's start working our way down over here toward this stone pile over here. Connecting the islands is good because we will get some random events. Usually they're very positive at the beginning of the game, but become negative the longer you play. So the faster you can connect it to islands, the better. I also have a cabin I want to place down for some housing for my people. You can see this white radius around your shrine, by the way. Place the housing so it connects up to that, and you start generating faith. And we very much do need to have that, so that's important. I don't think I need the rest of these, though, so what I'm going to do is spend four faith to reshuffle my hand and draw new cards. Let's place down another cabin, like so. We could place down some additional land, like this, and that connects an island. We get some stone, and we get an event. The settlement is developing nicely. The people are excited. We can inspire the artisans and get the Harvest Festival relic. So uh, extra food uh, is produced whenever we place down a farm, windmill, or bakery. Or inspire the builders with the expansionist relic. Every time we place down a building, we get some happiness. This is really good. We're going to be picking that up. No brainer at all. Nothing else I want to do this particular turn, though, so I'm going to move on into the next season, which happens to be the harvest season, and this is when you get to choose some new cards. Every card you pick up has a finite number of uses, so you're going to be replenishing your hand pretty frequently, and harvest season is extremely important. You want to have a lot of gold around. Let's get a tax collector to generate gold at the cost of happiness. Let's get a gold mine so I can get myself some extra gold. Let's get a fishing platform for some food, and then I don't want the meteor storm. We're going to go ahead and reshuffle with some money here. Get myself a farm, another cabin. Logging camp, lumberjacks, no, pass on that. 
Uh, panning hut can be good to get a little extra gold, and that's kind of all I can afford at the moment, except for another farm, which I don't think I need, so we're going to go ahead and exit, and that's good enough for now. I was hoping for some other cards, but eh, alright, it'll work. Let's place down a gold mine in an area where I can generate a lot of gold from the nearby stones, like this. Now, one problem is your workers will destroy the stone over time, so you'll have to replenish this, that's why we have the Rockfall card. I also want to place down a tax collector. Let's go ahead and do that here. It's going to cost me a lot of happiness per turn, but we get some extra gold for doing this. Now, one thing to note is that we have these workers, right, and they can work in these different buildings. We can recall them from certain buildings if you want and reshuffle these workers around as much as you need to. That'll be important later on. Let's go ahead and redraw. I will take another cabin, place it probably right here. Uh, a panning hut so we can start getting some extra gold per turn as long as it's connected to water is fine. Anything else come to mind? No. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Moving on. Running a little low on food. That's concerning, but it's okay. Let's try working toward connecting to another island like this. Uh, perfect, actually. There we go. We get some wood, and we find a bunch of iron. Sell it to get a lot of gold or max out my iron reserves. Honestly, the gold is probably worth more, but I'm generating a pretty good amount. I'll just go ahead and get my iron, I guess. That's fine. Let's do another reshuffle. Uh, we can get the fishing platform for some water. I'll do that. Need to place it close to a bunch of fish, ideally. I think up over here will have to be okay, so let's do that. Pull a worker off of, let's say, the gold mine. Send him over to the fishing platform. Now at least we're going to be getting a little bit of extra food per turn. Staunch the bleeding, you know? That kind of a thing. Uh, a farm could be good as well, but I'm not worried about it right now. Let's move on to the new year. Kind of low on my uh, faith at the moment anyway. Palisades? No, I don't need that. That is something special. I didn't mention that, by the way, but my god, one of his special abilities is if I don't have a Palisade card, he gives us a free one at the beginning of every year. I'm not worried about it, though. Um, let's see. Keep moving on. Looking for anything new. More land cards are great. Let's go probably down this direction. Um, like so. Connect it to another island. We get more wood. Again with the uh, iron, huh? All right, we're going to just go ahead and get some gold. We have connected enough islands, which means I get to finish with the World Builder uh, Prayer, and we can claim another god power. I'll take another card of Bloody Roots. That's going to be very powerful for me. And let's end our turn. Moving on to summer. Enemies are approaching. Okay, so at some point we will be getting attacked. We'll worry about that in a little bit, though. Let's go ahead and get some more land working toward these Baba Black Sheep. Anything else to do? No. Is it worth drawing any additional cards? Not really. Let's go to harvest season. All right. A longbow tower is a way of defending myself. I'll take it just in case. Fishing platform? No. What I really need are more workers, if I'm honest. Logging camp, standing stones? No, I'm not worried about that. We'll take a foragers. We'll take a cabin. We'll take a treasury. Anything else? Another gold mine? If I had a lot of workers, I could see that being really good. Smelter, reclamation? No. Shuffling? Another tax collector is a bit risky, but I'll take it. Another cabin? Sure, I guess. You can't get stone housing in this game. We've gotten kind of unlucky with bad stuff. Cannery? No. More fish generation. Yeah, let's make sure that our fish is able to stay up there. Not worried about the wonders. Park rangers. I don't have any nature reserves, but I definitely want to get a tavern. So if you see an opportunity to get yourself a card that is going to start building up happiness like a tavern does, definitely grab that as quick as you can, and I'll show you what it does in a little bit. Let's go ahead and place this over here, connect up, get some food. Disciplinarian. They're working people until they're dead on their feet. Max out my wood and stone, or max out my happiness and faith. Let's do that. Extra faith just means more drawing of the cards. I can do a quick rock fall over here to try and make sure my gold mine has more to work with. Uh, I'll place down another cabin here. Don't need this. Let's go for a forger, buy some trees. That gets me food and wood if I have workers. Let's place down a tavern. As long as this is close to a bunch of your housing, you can start getting some extra happiness, so I'll do that. Another tax collector at the cost of happiness, yes, but more methods of generating some gold. Let's use fish over here. So we have plenty of fish to use in this area, and we could do another cabin to get some additional faith, but again, until I get more people... This is kind of pointless. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Next turn, we are going to be attacked, so that's something to worry about. Anything worth drawing right now? No, not really, so I'm just going to go ahead and move on immediately to the next turn. All right, so here come the Vikings. Fun. You know what I can do? Um, a quick little meteor storm would do the job. Just kind of place this right here and go boom, boom, boom. That'll take care of them. Easy enough. First attack, usually not that bad. I really wish I had more workers than this. You do get some more per year, by the way. 
Um, let's go ahead and move to the tavern, start uh, staunching the bleeding on our happiness. So that at least looks decent. And I'm going to go ahead and end turn again. Probably need to work toward that next harvest, if I'm honest, because we're kind of out of good cards. Nothing here is really useful except for maybe the treasury. So I would be able to, which I don't even have enough stone for. So yeah, I can't even do anything with this. So we're just going to move on to the harvest then. Why waste my time with this? Granary for more storage of food. Sure, we'll take that. Hailstorm, bleed on enemies. Absolutely. Housing. Mm, we don't need more housing right now. Refuge, five more followers. That'll help. Okay, that's much, much better. Let's get a gathering hut so I can get some stone, uh, aside from the quarry. Don't need any of this right now. Planning office, double the gold generated from tax collectors. Yes, please. That could be great. And I don't think there's anything else I want to do with my gold right now, so we'll go ahead and end that there. Okay. So, we can go for a rock fall over here because my uh, gold mine has nothing to do. We'll place down a granary somewhere. How about over here? Just so we have extra food storage. Reshuffle. We can go for the refuge card, which gets me five extra followers. Thank you. That's very helpful. We can place down a gathering hut, so we'll have people able to go gather some extra wood or stone per turn. More fish. We're kind of okay on that right now. Is there anything else we can draw that would help? I don't think so. Except for the planning office and stuff. Let's end turn. Okay. Nothing I want here. Reshuffle. Quarry. Yes. We probably do want that so I can start getting some stone. Um, I really wish we had another stone island, but we kind of have no longer got any of our land cards. So I can't continue growing out to any additional islands, which is a little bit unfortunate. New York. Okay. Use up a bunch of rocks. I don't think I need more refuge. Not yet. We'll hold on to that. Still nothing I can do there. Looking for that planning office. There it is. And we can go ahead and just double up some of the gold generation, an extra point uh, plus four per turn. It's actually going to be plus eight if I do it over here, which I'm okay with. So let's place this there. Okay, another rock fall. Do that down here so we have plenty of stone to work with. Another reshuffle. Treasury we will place so I can boost up my gold reserves. Okay, moving on into summer. Uh, more fish, palisade, blah, blah, blah. Is there anything else I care about here? Not really. I think we're good. So we're just going to move on directly to the harvest, save some gold. Stone housing. Oh, where have you been all my life? Better housing. I'll take that. <laughs> uh, another forger can be useful for sure. Um, we'll take another longbow tower for defense later on. Restaurants. If I had any pie shops or bakeries, this would be great. None of these are exciting to me. Uh, another tax collector. No. Another stone house. Sure. Why not? Forester cabin. Big land. Yeah, that's good. Fish farm. Place a fish tile on an empty space in range every other turn. Um, I mean, this is a way of making sure that I never have to worry about fish again, but I've got a card for that, so I'm kind of okay as is. Uh, pie shop. This could work with your foragers. It does give you some extra happiness. I always take sandstorms when they're available, by the way. And a brewery would let me double up the effect of taverns. It does cost me a lot of uh, food. But it really gets me tons of happiness. I'm going to take that, and that's all I can afford right now. We're out of uh, force down by our forger, by the way. I'm not going to sell anything to Loki. He does like to buy your stuff. Let's place down some of these force so these guys have more to do. Reshuffle like so. Stone housing. So um, I guess I'll place one up over here. How do you want to do this? We can do this right here, I guess. That's fine. More forests like this. Worry about the rest later. Land? We have land. We can start working towards something. Is there another island nearby that I really want? No stone really nearby, which is going to become a little bit problematic later on, I can tell you right now. I'm going to do probably that. Um, there we go. Let's go ahead and get some space. Good. Reshuffle. Brewery. Place this in range of a tavern. That's six extra happiness per turn. Good. Okay. We have answered another prayer. We built 20. Okay. So we can claim another reward. More bloody roots. Gimme. Another reshuffle. Let's do a refuge. We get some extra workers. Where am I going to send them? Planning office. Quarry. Tavern. And fishing platform. Nope. Panning hut maybe. Gold mine. We need a lot more workers actually. I got a lot of production buildings but not a lot else. End the turn. Gonna be attacked very soon, but that's fine. We've got meteors on our side, so I don't think I'm worried. Um, we will place the big land probably over here again. Okay. 
where you shuffle, more farms. Not a bad idea, honestly, to go ahead and get myself some farms. Ah, the corner's fine. Let's do that. Okay, reshuffle again. Another forger. Sure, we'll do that. Didn't I get, like, a pie shop? I did. But I need more stone and stuff before I can do anything with it. New year. Here comes some Vikings. Ah, oh, it's a bunch of Vikings. Ah. Okay, that's fine. Pie shop. We can place this over here close to the forgers and get more happiness. I'll do it. I don't want to use up my Bloody Roots card. I don't want to use my Hailstorm card. We could place down a Palisade. I don't think that's going to do me much good. Let us meteor this little guy right here. Okay. We could place down a Longbow Tower and send some workers to go and shoot them, but they'll only fire off three shots and we need four. I'd rather fish for my meteor card in just a little bit. Let's try placing more land over here, for example. There's a meteor storm. Place you over here. Go boom. Okay, so that takes care of all the Vikings. The Saxons, sorry. We're completely fine. Anything else? No, nope. enter. Okay. And we got stone housing I still really want to place down. Let's do that over here. We can get some extra faith. Plus, it's close to the tavern. And I can get some of that housing capacity I was looking for. Anything else? No, no. Harvest. Okay. So here we can go for what? What am I looking for? Four stone housing's fine. A panning hut for some extra gold is okay again. Demolish. We can go for some wonders. I mean, yeah, if you want to start getting some wonders, we can do that. I don't know if I care about building up my maximum faith too much, though. Goods factory, a windmill, so we can get extra food from farms. Sure. More stone housing is fine. Gravity makes your meteors more effective, but I shouldn't need that, to be honest. Another gold mine doesn't excite me. I don't think I need the Colosseum. Big land is fine. Uh, It's kind of all I can afford, actually. All right. Not the best harvest in the world. We're apparently about to lose a worker. Why are we going to lose a worker? Starvation. I'm out of food! Oh, no. That's a problem. That's a huge problem. Um, Can we start trying to connect up to an island and maybe find a way to get some extra food? <laughs> That would be good. Um, we actually maybe just need to go ahead and send a bunch of workers to do that. So hold on. Let's pull back on things like the quarry. And we'll send more to... Probably pull off the panning hut. We never use the farm. The foragers need to get some food. Pull back on a tax collector and a panning hut. Get more foragers and fish. All right. So at least now we're in the positive. We're not losing any followers again. That's good. I say good. It could be better. Hi, Loki. Leave me alone. Stone housing. I could start demolishing some of these wooden houses to make room for stone houses that are close to my shrine. Uh, and that's tempting. I'll do one right here, though. Okay. Don't see anything to do there. I'm pretty much out of money, by the way. Let's go for some more uh, for, uh, refuge. That's going to get me a lot more workers. We will send some to the panning hut. The pie shop for happiness. More of the foragers and the farm. A lot of the farm, actually. Tax collector, and that's all the workers I've got available right now. So let's go ahead and end this again. Enemies are approaching, as usual. Harvests. Okay, park rangers, no, no. Tavern again, no. Pass on that. Palisade reclamation, a granary for extra food storage we don't need. I've already got some stone housing cards, so I don't see this as being too useful. Unless we have... Do we still have a demolish card? We do. So I guess I could pick up one more stone house. That's fine. I'm going to take another hailstorm. Panning hut, no. Smelter, no. Warehouse, eh. Another farm available, sure. More forests, no. Rockfall, yes. More refuge again? I guess. Goldsmiths, no. We do need to get wonders at some point, so that's something we need to start thinking about. But I don't want to worry about that until I think that I'm going to, you know actually trigger the final boss. Let's get the big land. We could go for another planning office, but I don't see the point. I think that's going to have to be good enough, but I'll take one more longbow tower just for the sake of it. We're out of gold again. All right. So I need to do some more um, housing stuff. Let's go ahead and demolish, say, this house right here. Reclaim some wood. Place this sucker down so we have better housing capacity, all close to the tax collector and the tavern and so on. I kind of was expecting to find a chapel at some point to generate a lot of extra faith, but that has not happened. Big lands. What can we do with the big land? Well, with the big land, we can go ahead and do this. All right, another island. Wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Uh, we can go for excess happiness. We get more faith. 
yes please, or inspire max on my reserves. No, if we have lots and lots of happiness, that excess becomes lots and lots of faith. This basically means that I should never have to worry about how many times I have to draw a card again. We'll be able to redraw our hands pretty much as many times as I want, which is a pretty fun position to be in. Let's start working our way down over here. Let's get ourselves another rock fall since we're out of stuff. That's not gonna be doing a lot though. Uh, we probably do need some more forests. So let's plan on that like so. Another redraw, another redraw, more big land. Let's do that here. Let's get some more fish, like so. Faith is gonna be easy to come by now, so I'm really not worried about it. More fish. And honestly, that's probably all I can do. So let's go ahead and move on to the next turn. And here come a whole bunch of stupid blight witches. Ah! All right, we can apply a bleed to all of them, and it probably would actually kill them all. But I really wanted to save this card, if I'm honest. So I hate the idea of getting rid of it. I think I'd rather just use my excess amounts of faith to keep shuffling for a meteor card. Let's go for some more refuge. Uh, again, big land is available. Good lord, this feels like such a waste, but okay. Do this, we get a relic, hopefully. A free lunch. Free food. Max out your food and happiness. Or gold. Honestly, I'll take max food. That's a lot. Okay. Uh, none of this is helpful. We can take the farm. We've talked about doing this. I guess we will place it here close to the windmill. Come on. All right, there's the meteor storm, so we can place you here, kill a bunch of those things. And I just need one small meteor, and we should be good to go. Another forest available? Eh, I guess we'll do that right there. Small meteor, say goodbye, and I'll take care of the witch, and we're good there. All right, anything else I'm trying to get? The demolish and maybe another one of those stone houses. Did I not get another stone house card? I guess I did not. All right, moving on, new year. Let's get some more refuge. We've got a lot of people we have to worry about now, which is hurting my happiness, but like all they're doing is they're just sitting around homeless. And my happiness is so high that there's nothing to worry about. I, ah, that was my demolish card, dang it. All right, well, enter. We'll come back to that then, we'll come back to it. I'm capped out on my money, by the way. This refuge card is lasting a lot longer than I was expecting it to. Okay, fishing, fishing, stone house. Ah, I guess we're gonna go ahead and place it over here by the tax collector. Just go ahead and do that. Might as well. Demolish. Do I still have a stone house card? I do not. So there's no point. Let's go to the harvest. Okay. Don't care about any of these. Chapel. Kind of too late for this, to be honest. We have so much faith, I'm not worried about it. More cabins. I guess we'll take one, but I don't think I need it. Let's start getting some wonders, because it's kind of time to start ending the game, I think. We can go for the standing stones to max up my faith, which doesn't sound great, but I'll go ahead and take the temple of the cow. Small land, stone house, there we go. Catapult, miracle harvest, gain food. Good in a pinch, not what I need. Reinforce another demolish card, logging camp, no. I'll take an archer, because we might want to start getting some um, units just in case. And I'll definitely take some uh, treasury so I can get extra gold. Colosseum, that'll work. All right, now I don't have the best stone production, which you need in order to get a lot of these uh, really good um, buildings. So the wonders, that is to say. So not sure how much good that's going to do me, but all right. Let's do another refuge card, by the way. I feel like we might as well. And we have a ton of workers. Let's go to the panning hut. Let's go to the farm. Let's go to the windmill. Let's go to the quarry. Honestly, we can almost max out everything at this point. Well, let's worry about gold mostly. Food, actually, you know what? Never mind, take that back. Food is a problem. So let's go to the fishing platform. All right, end turn. We're making 63 gold per turn. I mean, I have to say that's pretty good. Treasury we can place here. Now we can have up to 140 gold. We can place an archer, but I'm not worried about it. Colosseum, we need 20 stone. I do not have 20 stone, so that's a problem. We'll need to find a way of getting some more stone for sure. Let's see, a fishing platform. We can place one over here. All right, end the turn. More trees felled and stuff. Go away, Loki. I'm not taking advantage of your services. I don't trust you. Anything I care about over here? Actually, is there anything worth drawing? No, not until we get more stone. End turn. I really wouldn't mind getting an extra quarry or at least a card that just gives me free stuff. All right, so the Colosseum, we can get extra gold storage and just double up our gold. So let's do that here. There you go. So now I have a lot of gold to work with. I also get a Delve card. Every time you place down a Wonder, you can place down one of these cards, which basically lets you find literally any card you've got access to in the entire deck. Very good in a pinch, uh, especially if I want to double up on bleed. I'll come back to that later, though. That will be useful, all right? Very, very useful. Notice I've got a lot of bleed cards that are sitting in my hand right now. Yeah, there's nothing to do. Let's go ahead and harvest. 
All right, turn to dust. This is what I'm talking about. We can destroy rocks in range in order to gain some stone. I'll take it. Uh, nothing I care about there. Gravity, if I if I want to use a lot more meteors, I guess. Uh, we'll take another one of the cabins. I, I could take some fish, sure. I'll take this. It just makes my meteors more effective. You never know. Um, speaking of which, I mean, we could take another meteor storm. I have so much faith generation, we can use it all the time. Park Rangers, if we had Nature Preserves, this would be great, but I haven't seen that card pop up yet. Uh, none of this seems that great. Hailstorm I will take. I'm thinking ahead to we are soon going to need to worry about uh, fighting a boss. So I really want to make sure that we have lots of good bleed-related cards on hand. That's what I'm shooting for here. All right, so once I get enough stone, which should be coming up very soon, we will be able to just go ahead and trigger the final boss. Let's place down some fish over here. Turn to dust. Are there any rocks that I want to gather up? Unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of rocks so far. We can gather up 20 stone right here. So now we can place down the wonder, if I want to. Let's do a rock fall right here. Well, actually, now I'm kind of wondering if the extra quarry was a stupid choice. We don't have enough rocks to really make that work. More rock falls. And... Where is my wonder? Where is my wonder? We have a wonder. Yeah, the Temple of the Cow. Where are you? Where'd you go? Temple of the Cow. Oh, I need 40 stone! All right, well, that's a small problem. Right, good. Let's continue expanding some land, I guess. I need methods of getting more stone, and we're about to be attacked by a whole load of banshees all over the place. The good news is these are really far away, so I'm not scared of them, at least not yet. Another cabin, we'll place one right there. Um, an archer we could place, but I don't think I need to. Eh, I guess I could. For fun, we'll place an archer over here to start shooting some of these guys. We have meteor storms, though, so that should be enough to take care of all of these. And we could do another meteor storm and actually just finish them off right now. Sure, okay, that was pointless then. It's okay, you know, I'd rather I'd rather have it and not need it, it turns out. That's fine. Okay, so how do I get more sto uh, stone storage? That's what I need. I've got to find a way of storing some of that up. We need to hold on to a lot of money, basically. Let's get some more land, place that there. Reshuffle. Get rockfall, place here. I could use a Delve card to go get it, but, like, that just feels like such a waste, you know? More land, place here, get another Relic. What do we get? Prosperity. If we have excess gold, we gain faith. If we have excess gold, we gain happiness. Neither of which are really useful to me, to believe it or not. Let's go to the harvest. How am I going to get some more stone? Come on, come on, I need to find some stone. Or, or, a wonder that does not cost me that much stone. Let's take another sandstorm for sure. Build them up, forge, blah, 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 blah. I don't need that. Stone walls, more fish. No, come on, come on, come on. Give me something useful here. I've seen the building. I really wish I had grabbed it now. Where's the one that gives me some extra storage spot? Um, That's the one. Okay, my brain did a slight little, like, is that the one I'm looking for? Yes. Yes, brain, that is the one you're looking for. All right, you know, good enough. End that. Rockfall again. Come on, where is my, not the treasury, but I'll take it. Where's my warehouse? There you are. Take place. Okay, now with the turn to dust, we can go back up over here, find some more stone. There's a bunch of rocks. There we go. 14 stone. Boom. That's what I was looking for. Now we should be able to finally place down our wonder and go for the kill against the final boss. And I feel pretty good about that. Temple of the Cow. Place. Prayer. Met. Good. Face your doom! All right, we're gonna end our turn. And here comes scary Mr. Boss Man! Okay, this boss is actually really annoying for a few reasons. It's a Jotnar. He attacks my shrine. He heals to full health anytime he attacks a tower or a conscript. So if you have towers or units fighting him, he just heals every time he gets close to them. And his health increases at the start of every turn. This is where having the bleed is really good and I hopefully can kill him this turn. Let's use a hailstorm. He's gonna apply two bleed. So at the start of his next turn, he's going to gain two bleed. Fine, cool, great. Let's move over here. Um, we can place down another hailstorm. That's great. Not worried about the meteors yet, believe it or not. We can come back to that later. Bloody roots. Every time we place down trees, we get some more bleed on all enemies. We'll place that down twice because it's just that, uh, you know what? Thrice because it's that good. Hold on to the sandstorm. Let's do another hailstorm. 
This is where, by the way, having a lot, and I mean a lot of faith, is really useful. Go for another one of the bloody roots. Now I need to actually play uh, a fifth one? I didn't even know I had that many. All right, that's costing me too much faith. I need to actually, like, plant down some trees for this to work. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Trees, place. All right, so now he's up to nine bleed there. Come on, the trees are the relatively cheap option. Where are they? Eh, some more right there. Boom, that brings him up to 13. Okay. The sandstorms cost a lot. If I double this, we can get up to 26. Let's place you here. So 26 there. 52 bleed now. If I can get a sandstorm this next run. Yes! There we go. That brings him up to 104 bleed damage. New Year! Okay, he hits a house, and he dies. Ha-ha! And that is why bleeding is really, really powerful. We like bleed. It's the only way to take that guy down, to be honest. It's really hard without it. And there we go. When you finish a run, you do get a score associated with it based on how big your island ended up being, how many buildings you placed, how much damage you dealt to your enemies, how many resources you ended up gathering, were you fast in how you played, and of course, the higher the difficulty, the more of a bonus you get. So that is our new high score. And of course, we get more experience for My God, which unlocks additional cards. Militia, cannibalism, a trading post, Monument, Divine Inspiration, and Pilgrimage. There we go. And of course, every god you level up has different cards that they will be able to play with. So that is a look at these Doomed Isles. It's a pretty fun combination between the cards and the survival city builder. The final boss can definitely mess you up if you don't plan for it, but if you have some idea how to build your economy and what kind of cards you want to stash up toward, then you absolutely can still take your enemy down. But again, every god is different, and some strategies that work with nature powers are not going to work so well for someone like Plutus and Akan. So you'll have to be a little bit flexible and learn how to play with every new god. Once again, thank you to the developers and the sponsors for sponsoring today's video. I had a lot of fun with this. Of course, if you guys like what you see and you want to learn more about the game, its early access has just begun. You can find that link in the description down below. Otherwise, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.